Okay, N-trip. You run the N-trip initially, you start Ag Open GPS, and you start filling things in. There's the host and the computer and the IP of this computer. And your broadcaster, you put in whatever you want, rtk to go dot go.com. And when you click IP, it fills in the IP for you. Make sure you change the port. And then up pops an N-trip caster table in Internet Explorer, if you want to view that. Enter in your mount, and then your GGA interval in seconds, where from put it zero, then it doesn't keep retransmitting, or any number up to 600 seconds, as suggested by Andreas. Enter your username and your password. Now you can either use manual fix or uh, automatic fix, or like the fix from the serial port from the uh, GPS. So that's the ones below. If you want to fill in those manual with your current position, then you just go send a manual and then that fills it in automatically. If you want to send a serial port, you put, uh, z or sorry, if you want to send, yeah, serial port, put zero in for the serial, for the UDP port. And if you want to send it to a UDP port, you just put that particular number in. So again, zero for serial or the actual UDP port. And trip on, this is when, if you want it to come on when you first turn the computer or first run the program, and that requires a restart. And when you save, if you change that N-trip on or off, make sure you restart, because there's a lot of variables that are set in the background, of course. All right, and then coming back on again, now you'll see it's waiting for GPS. Once it gets a GPS signal, now it'll wait to reconnect, and then it'll wait 10, 12 seconds to reconnect. And when it connects, we'll pause there at three. Now you hear it, so the status says that it's listening and the bar graph moving is just an indicator that it's accumulating data or receiving data. And then it counts up and counts up. You can stop the, uh, the client and you can start it again. Of course, it's got to reattach. And then the status again, waiting, waiting to reconnect. So that works pretty good. If you drop the uh, Ethernet line or whatever, it'll just sense that and it'll try to reconnect, try to reconnect. And if everything's right, it'll reconnect. If not, of course, then it just won't reconnect. So if you're making changes in NTRIP and it's everything's running, like suppose we change what the, the GGA interval to some other number and we go save, it'll take that data and then restart the NTRIP server with that new data. So if you click, if you just click X, then it won't do anything. It won't save anything or do any changes, but here it'll just reinitialize the client and then just start listening again. And there it goes. Now back over on the other computer on the desktop and I've run Wireshark and Snipcaster and EggOpen GPS. So EggOpen GPS is set up to receive from rtk to go.com and the caster is set up as a, as a serial input. So Ag Open GPS is sending to the caster out the port to the caster. And you can see the RTCM um, on the viewer of, of SNP, or whatever that uh, stuff that's coming out of the caster. And so there we have that set up. So it was output from Ag Open GPS to serial port nine, and then they're virtually connected to COM eight, which is what uh, what SNP uses as an input, and then recasting on um, recasting SNP onto my network one nine two one six eight one thirty eight. And then port number 2100. So now the caster is taking the input from Ag Open GPS. There you can see on Wireshark that it's sending the, the GGA. And if we go back to another computer and go 192.168.1.138, port 2100, just do a basic request. This is like getting the source table. Up will pop the source table of that caster on that other computer. So we can see I'm listening to an online or uh, yeah, an online from Vienna and serial mount, which is the one coming from through that mess. So now if I put in as my broadcaster now, 
Remember, this is a different Ag Open GPS running. 192.168.1.138, port 2100, and get the IP. And then change the mount, of course, to serial mount. Now I'm listening to my own caster on my own network. So now we're going to try connecting, waiting to reconnect. And now we're listening. So RTK to go down the internet to Ag Open GPS client to a SNP caster back onto my local network into Ag Open GPS client to here. So you can set up an entire RTK core system or whatever you want, completely free. SNP is free. And of course, uh, with the client in Ag Open GPS, you can. You can receive and rebroadcast out serial ports or out UDP or anything you want to any caster. So, yep, works pretty good. Thank you.